Hey, good evening, everyone. I'm Rod Carter with uh, CBS 17 News. We're going to begin with some breaking news out of Fayetteville now. Let's listen in as uh, the police department in Fayetteville uh, tells us about a double homicide investigation. We're coming out at this late hour. Um, at this time, Chief Braden is going to provide you all with additional information um, related to the media release that was sent out earlier pertaining to a homicide that occurred. At this time, Chief Braden. All right, good evening. Uh, on April 28, 2013, at about 6 p.m., supervisors with the Fayetteville Police Department responded to 1323 Vanderburg Drive, Fayetteville, North Carolina, to check on an officer that had failed to report for duty. Once on scene, officers gained access to the residence and located two deceased individuals inside. The victims have been identified as Domingo Tavares Rodriguez, a Fayetteville police officer, and his wife, Yanitza Arroyo Torres, both victims had sustained gunshot wounds. Based on the incident involving a current and active Fayetteville police officer, the State Bureau of Investigation was requested and has assumed the criminal investigation. Any questions pertaining to the criminal investigation should be referred to the SBI at this time. So if there's any questions not pertaining to the investigation, I'd be happy to entertain some of those at this time. Can you tell us what time this was reported? Uh, the officer was supposed to report to work at 6 p.m. Okay. Once he didn't report to work, supervisors went to the, the house sometime after that. I was notified about 7 p.m. this evening. Was there uh, any, if you can speak to it, any indication of problems or issues in, in this officer's life that might have led to this? None that I'm aware of. How long has he been an officer with that? Uh, since June of 2021. What else, if anything, can you uh, tell us about the officer? Uh, just that he's been with us since June of 2021. Uh, like I said, he was supposed to report to work today. He was coming off his, his, his cycle of days off. And when he failed to report, the supervisors were unable to contact him by phone. That's prompted them to go by and check on him at his residence. Uh, I'm out of this, did, you, did you say the officer uh, name and the spouse's name? Yet? Yes. It was officer. Domingo Tavares Rodriguez and his spouse is Yanitza Arroyo Torres. How old are they? I don't have that information right right on, on top. We'll be able to get the spelling of those. Yes. And um, did the, if you can speak to it, did this officer have a career prior to joining the Fayetteville Police Department? Uh, I know he did have a military career, and it's my understanding that he retired. Or, uh, he retired from the military. Yes. All right. All right, thank you. All right, you've been, you've been listening to uh, Chief Kim Braden at the Fayetteville Police Department with a, a news conference tonight, late tonight. Uh, just to kind of bring you up to date, they uh, got a call about 6 o'clock about an officer who did not uh, show up for work today for his regular shift. That officer was supposed to be coming back on a cycle of days off, did not uh, arrive at, on time, did not get to work at all. In fact, they went to his house on Vanderburg, and that is when they found that officer who they've identified as Domingo. Uh, T Tavares Rodriguez and his wife, Yanetza Oreo, uh, Oreo rather, Torres, both of them with gunshot wounds. Again, uh, very little information about exactly what's happening here, but we do know that two people uh, are dead, a husband and wife. One of them is a uh, Fayetteville police officer who just joined the force in June of 2021, but uh, has a military career. We are get, continuing to gather as much information about this as possible. We do know that the SBI is investigating this uh, and has taken over the investigation. So as soon as we get more information, we'll bring that to you on our app, the CBS 17 News app, and of course on CBS17.com.